Hey everyone, welcome back to the Unreal Engine tutorial series where we're creating our own first person shooter game. In previous tutorials we've covered how you can switch the camera from third person to first person view, we've also covered how to create a damage volume to take away from the player's health, and then we've created logic to bring that health back to the player once they step out of the damage volume, and in the most recent tutorial we've covered how you can set up your animation blueprint and animation blend space to be able to do basic animations like moving and jumping. In today's tutorial, as promised, we're going to continue talking about animation and specifically we'll talk about animation retargeting. That's where you take a set of animations that you've already created or downloaded and apply it to one or many characters to save you some time. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, then let's get started. So as always we're going to start by looking for the assets we're going to work with today. There's a nice character that's for free on the marketplace that I think might work really well with the game we're creating. If we type in military in the search bar and set the max price to free, uh, you'll see actually that there are a bunch of free assets here that you can download which I highly recommend. It can always be good inspiration for the game you're creating or you can just use them for educational purposes. The character we're going to be using today is this one here called Military Character Dark and it's not compatible with the current Unreal Engine. However, as we've done before, there's a way around how you can add it to the project. So select show all projects which will bring up all the projects that it's not compatible with however if we select the project we've been working with which is the fps test and then go down and select the latest unreal engine that the character is compatible with and that will then allow us to add it to the project Right, let's go back and look for some animations and there is a set of animations that I've already downloaded to the project so I will tell you what that one is called so we can be able to add it as well. But again, if you type in animation in there and set it to free, you'll see that there's a, again a bunch of animations that you can work with and download. So what I'm going to do now is just launch the project to be able to get the name of that animation set. Uh, which is right here as you can see it's got a load of animations in there that we can work with so this one is called anim starter pack or animation starter pack so i'm just going to copy that across to the marketplace And there it is, so all you need to do is go in and add it to your project. Right, just quickly talking about animation retargeting before we start, I wanted to um, kind of give you a heads up. You can end up with a very simple skeleton, and I'll obviously explain as we go along how it works. But basically what you're doing is taking a character or a skeleton and applying animations from a different skeleton to it. What that means is the animations you can see at the moment are assigned to a certain skeleton and we're gonna bring in the character we've downloaded and apply those animations to that character. But sometimes you will end up with those skeletons that are completely incompatible with what you're bringing it in for. So I just wanted to give you a quick heads up on that. Thankfully today we have a skeleton that's not going to require that much work so we'll keep it nice and simple just so you can get an idea of how it works and hopefully by guiding you how you can do it today you'll be able to deal with any sort of complications or any complicated skeletons in the future. Okay, so let's get started. We need two skeletons. The first one is gonna come with the animation set, unless of course it was an animation set that you've created, in which case it would be the skeleton that you've assigned it to originally. Today, of course, as we downloaded our animation set, we're gonna go into the folder of the anim starter pack, and then we need to open up the folder named UE4 Mannequin. Inside here, you'll see a mesh folder. So let's open this up. And then you'll be able to see that we have different assets inside here one of which is going to be the skeleton that we're going to be working with today that is the original skeleton that came with the animation pack that we've just downloaded so that's all good for now we're going to close that and leave it for now we'll come back to it in a minute the 
The second skeleton we're looking for then is the character that we've downloaded. So let's go find the folder for this character. So here we go. If we open up the military character dark folder, everything will be inside the folder here. So you've got two different characters, male and female, and we have the skeleton here. When you double click the skeleton mesh, you probably get this message saying the preview for the hierarchy doesn't match with the skeleton anymore. And then it will ask if you'd like to regenerate the skeleton. So you can go ahead and click yes on that which will bring us in to the character that we've downloaded. And of course, this is the skeleton that we're going to be retargeting the animation to. So when you're working on retargeting animation with any skeleton, any character, the first thing you want to do is go down to the left hand side where it says select rig and select humanoid rig. That will then kind of auto populate the different bones to the character and link it with the source that the engine can see. It's not always 100% correct and this is where you will spend most of the time adjusting and making sure that everything matches. And that's exactly what I meant earlier by sometimes you could end up with some complicated skeletons that will then need a lot more adjusting and making sure that everything matches. However, today, as I mentioned, it's going to be an easy one. So we're just going to go up and press auto map. What I always like to do, and it's always a good habit to, to do that, is just to go through all the different bones on the skeleton to make sure that all the sources are actually matching with the names of the target. Once you're all happy with everything, then that's all good. We're going to move on to the next step. Now, of course, it's the source character that we need to match to the target character. The source one being the one that the animations were originally targeted to. And then the new character that we've just downloaded. Now, just in case, if you do need to adjust the target character's pose, all you have to do, it's normally the arms that need to be adjusted. But for any part in general, what you need to do is select a part and then that will allow you to rotate it or adjust it however you like. Once you're happy with the pose that the character is in, you go down again to the bottom left, click modify pose and save current pose and that will then save it to match with your source skeleton again in today's case we don't need to do that because both characters are actually in the same pose and believe it or not with regards to adjusting skeletons and making sure that both characters are good to go for retargeting that's it that's all you need to do we now move on to taking the animation and actually moving it from one skeleton to another. Okay, so we're going to start with one animation just to show you how it works. We'll just go back to the animation folder for the set that we've downloaded. And let's start with just an idle one. Uh, what you need to do is right click and on the top you'll find the selection that's called retarget anim asset. Select that and then select duplicate anim asset and retarget which will then bring up the section for retargeting animations to different skeletons You can see the source and the target there uh, the Source is already selected because of course the engine would be able to see that this is the skeleton That this animation was assigned to and then we just have to go to the left and select our target character Which is the one we've, we were just working on now you can see that both characters are in the same pose so that's all good to go when you're happy go down to the bottom left and press retarget and there we go so it will normally populate the new animation just onto the main content folder there is a way to actually keep it a little bit more organized and ask the engine to put the new animations in a specific folder and we'll go through that in a minute but as you can see, the animation has now been applied to our new character and it's working fine. Now, before we go any further, I'm actually going to delete this animation we've just retargeted. And I'm going to show you a really neat trick. Uh, rather than doing one animation at a time, especially if you have like a bunch of animations, 
if the animation set you've downloaded has already come with a animation blend space and an animation blueprint we can actually retarget a whole set of animation by retargeting a animation blueprint so that's what we're going to be doing now so instead of going to an animation i'm going to go down and select the animation blueprint which normally has an orange line if i double click to open it up you'll see that the animation blueprint and the animation graph or the anim graph is already all set So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be exactly the same process. We're going to right click on the animation blueprint. Only this time we're going to select retarget animation blueprint, which is exactly in the same spot as before. And again, that will bring up the section. Make sure that the target skeleton is selected. And then when you're happy with everything, press retarget. And again, everything has been populated in the main content folder. And I promise you, I'm going to show you in a minute how we can organize that. But for now, we're just going to go and change the mannequin into the character we've downloaded. So we're going to go to the character blueprint. Select the viewport. Click on the character itself to select the mesh. Go up to the character mesh drop down menu and select the character that you've downloaded. Now that's all good, we're going to plug the animation blueprint that we've just retargeted. So let's go to the animation tab, animation class, and then drop down menu to select the animation blueprint we've just retargeted. Normally the camera will reset once you've selected a new mesh or applied a new animation. So make sure that the camera is adjusted to the new character. And we're going to go and press play and you've got yourself a whole set of animation applied to your favorite character. What I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to go back and change the camera to third person just so you can see that the animation is working correctly. So let's quickly do that. And then we we'll compile and save and go back and press play again uh, just to make sure that that looks okay and again this is not perfect this is just a starting point as you can see it's working so that was the whole goal for today is just to make sure that we've got a whole set of animation working with a different character or moving from one character to another Okay, awesome. I'm just going to go back and put the camera back to first person perspective. And then, of course, as promised, I will go back and just show you how you can organize all the retargeted animations into one folder. So first of all, of course, we need a folder to actually have everything generated in. So let's right click and create a new folder. We'll call it retargeted underscore animation. And then once you've done that, let's go and do the same process. So we'll find the animation blueprint, right click, select the retarget animation blueprint. The only thing we're going to change this time is on the bottom right where it says folder. We're going to click change, select the folder that we've just created and then press retarget. And that will be it for today's tutorial. I hope it was useful and you were able to learn something. And I know some people have been asking for me to post those tutorials on more regular basis. And I promise I am doing my best to try and post them as fast as possible. It's just because obviously they take a little bit of time to get done. And I promise those tutorials will not stop until we've at least reached uh, a good point of creating a first person shooter game. Otherwise, as always, thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel. And thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Stay safe and until next time.